Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Rangers, and I'm here to talk about Game 3 of the Eastern Conference quarterfinals, where the Rangers lose 2-1 in overtime to the New Jersey Devils. No. 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 Rangers, no. No, we are, we are not. Please, for the love of God, don't you dare. Do, don't, don't you dare. Don't even think about it, actually. Don't, don't, don't. Just don't. I, <laughs> we all know what happened the last time we were up 2-0 in a series. We all remember what happened. We all remember. We all remember. We can't forget what happened last year in the Eastern Conference Finals. Right, you go up 2-0 to Tampa. And then what happened there? You lose four in a row. And, and I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. I'm very much not saying that. But what I'm going to tell you, that was not the same Rangers team that played game one and two. Simply wasn't. Uh, the game one and two Rangers power play was dazzling game one and two Rangers were not playing poor like that defensively those weren't the same ones and I'll give the Devils credit on one of those two things because I know Devils fans would want to come in and say oh what about what the adjustment they made good adjustments they shut down the Rangers power play caps off to them they saw the problem they were able to fix that I give them a lot of credit for that this wasn't a game where the Devils' offense was beating the Rangers. The Rangers' defense was beating themselves. The defense from game one and two was as good as I've ever seen them. The defense tonight was terrible. They were mistake-prone. They could not keep possession for 10 seconds, it felt like. They gave up way too many odd man rushes to the Devils. It's a miracle it took till overtime. It's a miracle it took till overtime. I, they, they were, especially that first period. I know shots were 11-11. It felt like the Rangers got ran up and down the ice. Devils came out firing. The Rangers' defense looked awful. Right? And I, credit to Shesterkin. Only reason. Only reason you had a chance in this game. Because the offense, for the most part, looked pretty inconsequential. The offense didn't look great or anything. Until, like, overtime, I thought it was when the offense finally started to play well, but there were a lot of block shots for the Devils. See, if you want to give more, they did a good job blocking shots. I'll give them that as well. The, the power play looked terrible. The 5-on-5 offense for the Rangers was gone. Shesterkin looked great. I'll give them that. Uh, it took until over 11 minutes into overtime of Game 3. Right, so over 180 minutes, 191 minutes before Igor Shesterkin allowed a 5-on-5 five five goal in the series. That's, that is so stupid. That is so stupid. It took almost 200 minutes in this series for Igor Shesterkin to get beat 5-on-5. Five five. That's wild. That, that's just a wild number. Right, but the Rangers get on the board first. Second period, after a pretty disastrous first period. Rangers come out in the second period looking fine. They look pretty good. Uh, it's a two-on-one-ish rush with Zibanejad and Kreider. Kreider fires, scores. Are you joking? His fifth goal of the playoffs. His fifth goal. His fifth goal in three games. Are you joking? Chris Kreider is scoring at an unbelievable clip. He is... He, he told that team, get on my back. And for everyone that was saying, oh, he's just a tipper in front. <laughs> Boom. Beautiful shot. Right? Beats Schmid. And, by the way, I'm going to talk about that in a second. Then Jack Hughes on a power play. A few minutes later, ties it up at one-on-one. One. Go through the third period. I thought the Rangers started to get hot. But not much. Then you get to the o overtime. Rangers out shoot him. 8-5. to five. I thought that was indicative. I thought the Rangers outplayed them. I, I thought the Rangers' offense looked good. But eventually, it, there was so much madness in front in front of both goaltenders in overtime. I The defense just said, what if we stopped when you got to overtime? There was a mad scramble. I think it was the kids' line once or twice in front of Schmid. But it's a scramble in front of Shesterkin. Dougie Hamilton gets it. Fires one. Beautiful shot by Hamilton. That's, what, what do you want? That was a bell ringer. 
sometimes it's not a mistake you made as a goaltender. It's what that player did right. Beautiful shot by Hamilton. And the Rangers still have a lead. They still have a lead. They still have a 2-1 series lead. And they get to play tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Monday night, still in Madison Square Garden. Those are good things. Here's my thing. I have not, for my money, recency bias plays a big part in that, I'm sure. I cannot recall to you a better two-game stretch for the New York Rangers, where they are playing a genuinely great opponent, and you don't have the, oh, well, it was in Madison Square. No, no, no. It was a genuinely great opponent on the road in back-to-back -back games, and you killed them. I've never seen them look that good in those circumstances, right? The Penguins and Nashville games where you scored like 13 goals over a weekend is so different because neither of those teams made the playoffs, you know? You were basically facing a minor league hockey team in Nashville. They were so injured to hell. I, I have never seen against that level of competition. The Rangers look so good in back-to-back -back games. And you go into game three, all the momentum in the world. You go back to Madison Square Garden, your home, your house. You bring them and you crumble defensively. The offense, I, it just wasn't, it did not do good enough against a third string goaltender. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to dunk on Schmidt. Infinitely better goalie than I will ever be. But you got one goal past him. A person who was playing his first playoff game, who's played under 30 career NHL games in total one goal in a sold out building rocking Madison Square Garden and look it took the Rangers playing terribly for a good long while in this game and overtime for the Devils to score two goals to beat the Rangers so you can look at that and say Wes Wes they're fine the two Rangers victories were absolute thrashings. This one was a bare knuckle boxing match till overtime, right? And it took the Devils almost 200 minutes, over three full games to get a five on five goal against Chesterkin. And all those are true. I still have a lot of faith in the Rangers to win this series. That being said, what could have been the slam the door in their face, it's over, it is all but signed, sealed, and delivered game three victory giving you a 3-0 lead you allow them to win and just get their foot back in the door i still believe in the rangers i really really do but that could have been the that could, foot on their throat just like tampa you have a lead just like tampa and you allow them to crawl back in the game and back in the series. It's, all, it's only one game. It's only one game. It's only one game. You play again on Monday. 7 o'clock Eastern. In Madison Square Garden. Obviously still facing off against the Devils. Please don't play that bad defensively again. And please reestablish the power play. I think I've said my piece, and uh, other than that, I hope you all have a great day. If you enjoyed, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all very much for watching, and as always, go Rangers.